Okay, we're going to look at an example in just a second, but let's go ahead and take a look at some limit laws. And what I'm trying to point out here is that in these limits and with these limits, you can add them, you can subtract them, you could multiply them by a number. There's products, there's quotients, you can take powers of them, you can take roots of them. All right, you can do a lot of arithmetic things with the limits, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these laws here and we're going to apply them to this problem right here, number 10. All right, and it gives us two limits, F, the limit of F and the limit of G. Now the main requirement is that they have to be approaching the same number. So they're both approaching two in this case. So the limit that we're looking for says, find the limit of F of X plus G of X quantity squared. So let's think about that for a second. Let's plug in and replace the limit of F. If you're just looking at that part right there, okay, the limit of F was negative five, okay? And let's say now you're just looking at the limit of G. Well, that was negative seven, okay? So then we're gonna get rid of that again. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna take these numbers, you're gonna add them, and then you're going to square them. And that's not terribly difficult because you get something like this, negative 12 squared, which ends up being positive 144. So there are certainly other problems that you might run into, but it's not that bad, okay? You just kind of piece together what you know and then go from there and apply the laws. And, and the laws are really nice. You know, they're pretty self-explanatory. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and a couple of other things. But you can also take powers, for example. All right. Well, hopefully this quick video uh, answers your questions about how to evaluate limits by applying limit laws. Um, if this video was helpful, as always, remember, like and subscribe.